Uh, my name is Shalil Prasad and I'm from Kambara Farm, Netisiri. Uh, see, if we have a land, instead of leaving the land, you know, what do you leave it for nothing is a wasted land. If you leave the land for nothing, we won't get anything out of it. It's better we just plant, we get something out of the land, like we plant something valuable, some good crops so that we can uh, uh, bring into monetary concepts like money and we clear our land and we just you know keep on planting because this that time i see the demand for the food is very hard high even dalo ginger is very high and tavioca all the thing we have to do is nowadays if you don't have any other jobs or whatever if you have your land just use your food technique that's the best way you don't have to run around here and there don't have to run around you know looking for jobs or whatever First of all, it's a food, eh? it's a daily food. So we just, uh, like after this lockdown here, if you see, we never been to Suva right now, from March. We don't feel like going, everything come in the house. You know, the exporters, they come by from here. We have food here. So we just buy some few things from the local market here and that's it. So for me, it's the best thing. It's so relaxation. If you go to the city, too much headache. Go to the, you know, too much congested place, you see five people, too much talk. Stay in the farm, relax, you plant more, you get happy, you get fresh fruits, you know. And uh, another thing, like we get uh, good foods, like fresh body up here, eh? everything here. and uh, 200 acres we got cattle farming. So cattle farming, we have already uh, planted pasha there. Pasha is batiki grass. Once we develop the land, if you don't really want to plant anything else, just plant batiki grass. Batiki grass goes for years and years. After that, put the bumako and make the fence. So your land will be always clean and developed. The place we don't uh, do planting. And those are places we do planting, we don't even allow any cattle to come inside because cattle's feet is so heavy, they worth half a ton. And once they come and uh, stamp onto the roots, the plant goes down. Even the trees, they die out. So we have a section, section for the cattle, section for the planting, you know. And uh, most of the, and uh, mostly, if you go right into inside the bush to do planting the best thing you do is like this make a good track right you don't have to clean all the way only make the best track from the digger where it works clean up to there clean up to there start planting so harvesting time is for you you go the road even you don't gravel you take your product out you no know? easy for no both side eh? And uh, if you want to, if you leave the load along there and you come and do planting here, yeah, there's a big struggle. You have to look for bullocks, horse, or other means of transport to take it out here. Yeah? So do some sensible farming, easy for both ways. It was really good. See, the, uh, when, uh, when I was assisted, I used all those uh, you know, the fertilizers on the crops. It really woke me out. It was uh, artificial manure. It was during January and uh, give me good production so that I really roll during this, uh, what do you call this, drought season, eh? Villa winter season. Dalotops I supplied the uh, last three years. I supplied every year 100,000 to uh, uh, Lambaguna, uh, Lambaguna office. And those Dalotops have gone to Nandarevatu up there, maybe 30,000 there I supplied. And uh, Navwa, maybe more than 20,000. Kandavu, it went to uh, where is this uh, few islands and, uh, and even uh, to Tailevu, Namosi, Bunindawa, all my area. Uh, for a farmer, to be a best farmer is better you uh, go to tertiary schools or whatever, but to be a best farmer, you come to a farmer. Come and do your practical, you know, come with a peaceful mind and uh, you have to come and stay in a, like, 
a month camp or two month camp so that you know how to wake up early morning you know your time five o'clock you know your six o'clock time and you know your afternoon shift time and it's not the farming is not you walk in the whole whole day walk hard you burn your skin afternoon you have a headache it's not farming farming is timing farming is like it's your some people say it's a game some people say it's like you know it's a heavy you know it's something you're growing it's a life it's our life so the better we do it the more precaution we do it uh, do on the chemical even the fertilizer we only put the fertilizer fertilizer enough for the plant you know and the place we plant we should be select selective and we'll be successful and if we don't have knowledge we think that anything we throw in the land it will grow no 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 some things will grow without you planting you know it doesn't need care but those things who need care you have to plant them that will bring you cash home